Okay, so we're back in the other room. And in case you're wondering about these uh, two bad boys, uh, truth is the show has a pretty small budget. And unfortunately, I blew most of it on traditional African war artifacts. <laughs> so... Hi everyone, welcome to Tour Guide TV. I'm Kelsey, and here we do world-class training for world-class guides with Zulu Shields. Today we're gonna talk about the use of props on your tour. There's honestly no better way to keep people engaged than by having a few visual aids or objects that you can hand around. Remember, the most powerful way to tell stories is by showing, not telling. Let's look at some of the best wine tours that I've ever been on, and through these examples, maybe we can find a way to take your tour to the next level, make it memorable and remarkable. One of the most important elements of a great wine is the soil in which it grows. Now, to hit this home, I've seen wine tour guides hand around pieces of shale or clay or fossils to really make this clear to their guests. So now when they're talking about the land, the guests really have the opportunity to hold that soil in their hand and it makes for a much richer experience because they can smell it and look at it. Did you know that the wine growers in northern France will sometimes use ice to freeze their grapes to protect them from even colder temperatures? Now you can try and picture what that looks like, but you know what's even better? I'll show you a picture. Isn't that crazy? Use photos and handouts as a way to drive curiosity and also to save time and description. Remember, show, don't tell. Now using a map on a tour isn't a groundbreaking idea, but I once had a tour guide use a three-dimensional map and a flashlight to demonstrate the importance of southern facing slopes in Burgundy, France. So by using the flashlight as a sun, he could simulate its movement across the sky. And the whole group could see on his three-dimensional map how those southern facing slopes were almost never in shadow. This was such a cool, very simple thing that you could do and was often a highlight of the tour for guests. Now, if you ask people what their favorite part of a wine tour is, it's probably the drinking the wine part. And part of the reason for this is that they're invited to use their nose and their taste buds, and it's a very sensual, rich experience. So in your tour, is there any way that you could hand out some food or a small tasting of something or a local specialty that fits within your theme? So there are four quick examples to get you thinking about how you can beef up your own tour. But remember, if you are gonna have this type of experience, it needs to be able to be shared by everyone. It's of little use if you have a binder with a small picture in it that half the group can see. Or same thing goes for an object that you wanna pass around. If you have one and it needs to go through the hands of 50 odd people, there's a chance people are gonna miss out. In the comments below, share your favorite prop or visual aid or something you do in your tour and how it's impacted your guests. Share this video if you know someone who needs a little inspiration and subscribe to join in the community. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. <laughs> so worth it.